the world and the Westinghouse companies continued on after his death. His brother became the president of Westinghouse Airbrake, which continued its operations and growth. His son, George III, who had passed an apprenticeship at the Airbrake Works, carried on the legacy and managed the family finances. Westinghouse Airbrake Company changed their name at one point in time to Wabco, but they're still with us today with the name Wabtec. Westinghouse Electric and Manufacturing Company remained at the forefront of the modern era as the country rapidly embraced electric power and purchased new machines and appliances to aid in daily life. In 1920, Westinghouse made history by airing the first commercial radio broadcast in the country. They started radio station KDKA. The first transmittal on that radio station was done uh, in November 1920 from atop the K building at the East Pittsburgh Works of Westinghouse Electric and Manufacturing Company, as it was called at the time. They broadcast the presidential election returns that year, and that was the very successful first commercial radio broadcast in the United States. KDKA went on to become a very successful company. The very first year that they operated, they operated from a studio atop the K building at the East Pittsburgh Works, and they actually had a tent. And it was said you could hear the train whistles in the background because they were in a tent. They had no way to keep that sound out of the radio programs at that point in time. <laughs> 